So the most common question people want to know is uh, weathering the storm. You run a travel site that talks about travel and people getting on planes and boats and all sorts of stuff. And there's this thing called COVID-19. So a lot of these businesses have shut down, but you've managed to stay open. And in fact, uh, I've done a little spying and it looks like your rankings are going up like a lot. Um, how have you like weathered this storm? <clears throat> well, um, funny you ask. <laughs> Not well. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, you know, this was going to be our best year yet. Uh, and, and then COVID hit and, you know, I mean, I, nothing happened, you know, <laughs> so there was no travel. And so, you know, our revenue dropped like 90%. Whoa. You know, uh, our ad revenue went from, you know, 25 to 28,000 a month to 4,000. Whoa. Uh, affiliate revenue is still down about 86%. Because mm -hmm. um, a lot of the companies, what they did is they just closed their affiliate programs. So they're like, yep, we're, we're, we're not doing this anymore. Uh, so many of them haven't even opened back up yet. So, I mean, it's really hard. All these revenue streams are gone. I mean, some of them are not even going to come back. You know, I don't expect many of the companies that shut down their affiliate programs to start them up at least for the next year or so, if they, if ever. So a lot of your competitors just, they're gone? Um, you know, a, a lot of people just are on hold. I am fortunate enough that I had a substantial amount of savings that I can just keep pouring into my business. Cause unlike a lot of my other competitors uh, or other bloggers, you know, in the space, I have a full team. Like I have five employees. Mm. So, we don't make enough to cover our monthly expenses. So I got a government loan. I haven't actually had to use it yet, luckily. Uh, but most of the time, it is just using up my savings. So, I mean, I'd be fine if I didn't have employees. My mom said, <laughs> I was like, you know, if you fired everybody, you'd be okay. But then I actually have to do work myself. And who wants to do that? Dang. So, so what do you see? Like, are, are people starting to travel again? Are people coming to the site looking for advice still? Like, what's going on? Yeah, I mean, you mentioned my rankings going up, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, there was a core update in May, and that was like super helpful. Like I started ranking for like best houses in Paris and all that. So that's nice, but nobody's searching for that shit anymore, right? <laughs> so like, you know, going into the summer travel season, I would have loved to have ranked for best hostels in Paris if th uh, there had been a travel season. Um, so while the rankings have gone up, search is still about like 40, 50% off its high. And so in, you know, people are traveling locally, domestically. So, I mean, one of the perks is that I cover so many places around the world and I rank so well for, for such a variety of search terms that, um, that's been good, but still, I mean, this hardly anyone's traveling, you know, and, um, at least not in the numbers that are going to, you know, make me cash flow positive. Dang. Well, so it sounds like 2021, 22 will probably be better years, according to most estimates, hopefully. Yeah. Um, are you planning on like changing your strategy for the whole business for the travel or uh, is everything just going to be the same and just kind of like waited out like AMC theaters and some Cinemark theaters? They're just saying that 2021 is going to be like, don't die year. That's it. Yeah, I'm just going to wait it out. You know, you've seen a lot of, you know, content creators pivot to like lifestyle stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Suddenly, <laughs> you know, all those girls on the internet are, are like posting about beauty brands and, you know, their dogs and like home decor. And like the guys are like suddenly into fitness now, right? And, <laughs> and dress are like, oh, we're, now that I'm home, like I've got into, you know, fixing up my house and like, yeah, I'm not going to do any of that. Uh, I don't want to do it. That would just like be painful for me to do. Um, and I'm just going to wait it out. We're a travel website. We help people travel on a budget. And, you know, I have enough in the bank and enough from the government loan to whether like if my expenses stay the same, I, I will I won't run out of money until the end of 2021. Right. So and then I'll have to start letting people go. Um, <laughs> then it'll be fine. But, you know, so I have enough to just wait out it out. And um, 
I think by the spring of next year, people are just going to start traveling again. So it sounds like big companies are kind of made through tough times. You hear all sorts of, you know, analogies of like companies that are really big usually get started during down times, depressions, uh, all sorts of downturns. Yeah. So it sounds like this could be like an opportunity to like level up if you survive the storm, which it sounds like you can. Yeah. I mean, I started my website um, in the last economic downturn. So, oh, <clears throat> in 2008. So, I mean, why I'll just do it a sec second time? Um, That's really interesting. You know, we. We cut off like a lot of our, we trimmed a lot of the fat, cut off a lot of the freelancers. So, I mean, I can scale up again and you just got to weather the storm out. You know, I mean, it's tough in the travel industry, but um, I think a lot of online places will go under and people will start looking for other jobs and I'm just going to stick around.